All right, welcome back to LearnWire. Let's jump into Surge Graph. It's been a while since I have visited the tool. I wanna to see what's up and do a series where I'll take you through all their newest features. They've improved their images and they've added a bunch of different types of articles that you can write. I wanna uh, focus on uh, like product roundup. Uh, make sure to tune in and subscribe because my next video, I'm gonna be going over the product roundup. That's where you can do like the top five, top 10 of some different products. Now they are focusing mainly on Amazon right now. It'd be nice if we could uh, do a ClickBank product or we could do some other products on different platforms. That would be really cool. Maybe I'll try to give them feedback, the creators of Surge uh, Graph. But what we want to do right t today is just something simple. Hey, product review, how well can you do a product review? So you'll just click on that and it'll highlight in orange. And then we're going to go over here and you can put in your target keyword. Now we can go into one click generation over here and it's going to take us down to that menu over here or we can leave that unchecked as well. So let's go over here and find a product. I already have uh, brought one up. I actually purchased this one already. You can see right here. And I have uh, reviewed this on my Amazon influencer program business as well. I've sold this now and made money. It's pretty cool stuff. Now I could also use Surge Graph to create a, a really nice review for me so that I can go and put this on one of my websites that I created specifically for products that I actually, physical products that I actually reviewed. So I'm gonna go and take this URL and let's see if this actually works. We're gonna come over here to uh, Surge Graph and I'm doing this live, kind of an unboxing. I haven't used this feature yet, so I figured I would just go ahead and uh, do a live recording showing you the tool. We need to go over here to the product URL and place that in right here. Then I'm gonna come back over here and get the, the name of the product. And uh, I believe it's gonna be like right here and we're gonna just say uh, Juicy Strawberry. So I'm gonna go copy that and I'm gonna go over here and place that keyword in right there and then just say Juicy. So that's a really long tail keyword because this is gonna be one of those things that you know, we could go with what is the actual keyword. We could take this in and see what keywords uh, come up for this real quick. Let's see if we can find some of the keywords that might come up for this. So obviously there's no data for that, but we can go over here and look at this report and see what other ones show up right over here. So we have the amino energy drinks, just a lot of like broad keywords that could be any brand. And so we do have this optimum nutrition Essential Amino Energy at Electrolyte. It gets 100, 100 visitors. Energy Drink Strawberry. We could rank for that as well. So there's going to be a bunch of different chances to rank, but I do want to stick with that because that is the actual product and that's the product listing that they have for the keyword. We might want to also go in here and say review right there. I'm going to take that review off on the product name and then affiliate ID. I'm going to go grab that real quick. Okay, so I put my new, my Amazon affiliate ID in there as well. And then what you do is uh, you either create document or we do a one click. And let's go with this one click right over here. I'm gonna say one click, it's gonna take us down to some one click generation settings, longer time to generate, around 10 minutes. It allows you to generate content faster by skipping the outline and optimization stage. That's cool, I like to save time. What kind of, I want to go with 1,500 to 2,500 words. I just don't want to go much more than that. Point of view is automatic. First person, let's see, I, me, mine. Let's just go with that. It says point of view setting results may vary uh, by topic. Consider using GPT-4, GPT-3.5 models for better outputs. Conversational, we're going to leave it like that. Creativity, I'm going to turn that up a little bit. And readability. I want to make this, let's shoot for fifth and sixth grade because we know that it's not going to be able to achieve that, but let's go ahead and go for that. Outline settings, we have an intro, conclusion, takeaways, uh, table of contents, uh, FAQs, uh, that's fine. Auto optimize, absolutely. We can add custom terms and links, I'm not going to do that. Add a auto uh, featured image, I don't think we want to do that as well because we're going to go and probably use our own image but you know what i may as well turn that on right now standard doll e let's go with that the doll e requires more credits for each image but unlocks deeper prompt comprehension now let's just go with standard add made a description fine export to uh, wordpress directly no we're not going to do that and then now we're going to go ahead and create the document okay so we're back it has been about 10 or 15 minutes let's check on the article so we have this right over here optimum nutrition 
amino energy, sparkling hydration, ju <laughs> drink juicy strawberry review. Leave a comment below what you would title this article because going off of this is literally the product title over here and I only took a little bit of it. I literally only took like that much of it. Look at all this other stuff that's stuffed in there. I feel like this is a strawberry, so you've got to mention that it's a strawberry flavor too. This is just making me laugh because this the this title itself is too long. So I might have to do something about that, but let's go and check this out anyways, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and just click on it. And that's actually pretty cool. It's not really going to be a useful, I don't think that I'd be able to actually use this or publish this, but it came pretty close other than the text being a little uh, strange. And we already know with AI text, it just is not quite there yet, but give it six more months or a year, I'm sure it's going to be there. So pretty impressed with the standard image that it came up with. I would be interested to see if it actually would be even more accurate or better if we had used the doll E version. So that's something that I will have to test as well. So we have topic coverage of 100% over here. We have an 81 optimized trans transactional article, and we know that this is a transaction because we're trying to sell our energy drink right over here, right? We got 1,800 words, 17 headings, 77 paragraphs, and one image right over here, okay? And we can go and scroll down. We have our table of contents right here and our title and our outline. This says my buying guide right over here, so we could maybe take that off. So let's just read a little bit of this. As a fitness enthusiast, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this part right here. This is the intro. As a fitness enthusiast and avid consumer of hydration drinks, I was intrigued to try the Optimum Nutrition Amino Energy Sparkling. I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but it does say in juicy strawberry flavor. The blend of amino acids for the muscle recovery and energy boost combined with refreshing combination carbonation piqued my interest with years of experience in testing various supplements on beverages and beverages. I dove into this product with high expectations. This review will uh, uncover the taste, effectiveness, the overall value this drink brings to your workout routine. Stray, uh, stay tuned to discover if the blah, blah, blah. So I got to do something about that to the product name on this one. Truly delivers on its promises. Maybe I should put this in chat GPT and then and change the product name and just say, hey, give me like your the top three or four uh, words and and make a make this into a product name or whatever. So we have a key takeaways right over here. Optimum nutri nutrition sparkling hydration drink offers a refreshing way to boost energy and hydration, incorporating five grams of amino acids per serving. 100 milligrams of natural caffeine. Is that true? 100 milligrams of caffeine. We have the zero sugar right there. We have five calories, one gram of carb. Let's see right over here. I'm not seeing where the where it says how much caffeine is in it. It sounds about right. 100 milligrams of caffeine is right there. So that's right. Five grams of amino acids. Let's go see if we can see that. And it has it right here, five grams of amino acids. So far, the facts check out as well. That's really impressive. Just imagine where we were at like six months ago with AI. You still couldn't get this stuff to be accurate. Maybe six to eight months ago. It's getting so much better as far as just remember a year or two ago when we would like really be checking, figuring out how we can fact check AI because it was just so poor two, three years ago. And just imagine where we're at now where these are just getting all this. It's pretty crazy. The sugar-free com composition makes it a healthier alternative to traditional energy drinks. It is sugar-free, so that's smart. So all this is factual, really good. It brought in, it automatically brought in a real image right there. So that is super, super cool. Brought in the image. We have the too long to read right over here summary, and it's going to say that it's sugar-free, energizing five grams of amino acids. That's great. It gave us a table. So far, just right off the bat, I got to pause. Surge Graph, it's been months since I've used the tool or checked it out, but I am, and I didn't really use the tool because I just felt, I always felt like it was missing something. It was always missing something, right? It didn't have the whole complete package. So far, I'm extremely impressed. It's got a great introduction. It's got good AI writing so far from what I'm seeing. It's got factually based content. It's able to take a URL from Amazon on this one. We have a really nice summaries where it's putting just the, putting everything together that you'd really want to know. 
And then it's got tables right over here for us as well. And this is something that they didn't have in the beginning. And there was other tools out there that had that. And so it just made it a little less attractive. But the fact that we're getting all this and we're getting it well optimized and so forth, super, super cool. But you guys know that I have to go and publish this and see if we can get this ranking. And then that will really be a determining factor. So you want to make sure that you subscribe because I'll fo do a follow up video in another week or two. And we'll see if we can get this article ranking on a site that has no authority or anything like that. So we have the key features. We have the five grams of amino acids right there. We have 100 milligrams of caffeine, sugar-free composition, a variety of fruit flavors, including juicy fruit, buying guide right over here, closing thoughts after diving in, blah, blah, blah. So if you're on the hunt for a refreshing beverage that not only hydrates, but also provides a kick of energy, give optimum nutrition and amino energy a try. It might just become your new go-to drink for those days. Cool. And then if you actually tried it, I'd actually come in here and under the closing thoughts, you could even just maybe rewrite this in your own words and maybe give just a few, all it takes is just a few real sentences coming from your own experience. And that's what my new thing that I'm going to be doing with blogging and using AI is only really using uh, it for well, products that I'm reviewing. And that's a great business to get into is product review, software review, reviewing products and so forth. So then you can make real content based on your real experience. And that way you can actually judge this and see if it's actually accurate or not. And then you can go in there and uh, write the introduction personally and write the closing thoughts personally and add that closing to that final touch that, that Google's going to know that, oh yeah, this does definitely sounds like the author did actually use this. And then on top of that, guys, when you add in your video at the top, that's you actually re reviewing the product, then that is where the real content and the authoritativeness and the EAT scores are going to shoot up through the roof because you're, you're providing value on products that you actually re uh, review. Super cool. Not really sure we would need these frequently asked questions over here. Is it suitable for consumption before workouts? It says yes. What are the key benefits? Uh, blah, blah, blah. It's pretty dang cool. It's saying we have an 81 well optimized. This says great job. Your content has a good potential to rank for the target keyword on page wise. On page wise, are you now ready to compete with the top ranking pages? So we could go over here and start looking at like the SEO factors, auto optimize your content for SEO. We can push that button. We're already optimized. We can auto optimize for custom terms and links. We didn't really put those in there, right? Keyword density and so forth like that. So see how I dialed that down to like fifth grade, but we're still looking at a college graduate level right over here. So the reading score is still really high right here. We do have some things that we could with all these red X's that we could do. We need the internal links, external links. We know that we can automatically add those in with search graph. I'm not going to go over that in this video. Here's some facts that we could insert into the content if we wanted to. Here's the topic map over here, right over here. More questions, links that we could go and provide and add in the content, content terms. So here's some content terms that we can look at as well. So overall, I'm going to go ahead and sharpen this up a little bit, maybe add some internal links uh, from the site. I'm not going to watch you or make you watch me publish this on my WordPress site, but I will update you guys if we can get this actually ranking. Thanks for tuning in. If you want to go and check out Surge Graph, there will be a link below. This is uh, definitely one of the most affordable all-in-one AI writing tools that I have ever reviewed in years of doing this. The fact that you have all these SEO features over here, you have all the abilities for internal and external linking, and you have an AI that just continues to get better and better. They've got images now. It's getting really good, and their pricing still is better than any other one on the market. But ranking is the number one thing, so I'm going to go ahead and start uh, testing this tool out so we can start seeing if we can get this ranking, and then that's what really drives results, right? If I can show you that the, yep, this content ranks, then you would be even more intrigued by that. So make sure to keep tuning into the videos and I'll keep sharing with you my experience and my testing with Surge Graph. Thanks for tuning in. Again, link below if you want to go pick this up or check it out and I'll see you in the next video.